Hello again, let's take a look at a simple chord melody for the great old tune um, uh, Good Morning Heartache. Uh, it was written in 1945, two of the most famous recordings that I know of. 1946, Billie Holiday, and then for a movie called Lady Sings the Blues, Diana Ross re-recorded it in 1972 and had some success with the tune. Uh, just have a handwritten tab. Um, there is an intro, which would be that top line there, but rather than eat up a lot of time with the intro, I'd like to just get into the main part of the melody, which starts with the second line. So from the second line down is our chord melody arrangement. Just raise it up. Hopefully you can uh, copy this down and take a picture or what have you. Okay, so let's just walk through some of the uh, arrangements. It's probably going to take more than one video to really get through the whole thing. Um, here we go. First chord is a C minor chord. So we're going to bar the middle two strings at the fifth fret. We've got the pinky on string eight, the eighth fret, and we've got the middle finger on string five, the sixth fret. Okay, we're picking and strumming only as far as the third string. So we have. Jump to the second string, eight to six. Now we've got an unusual chord. We've got, it's basically an A minor triad with C on the fifth string, third fret. Come back and play the C. Now down here, this is kind of a tough chord. So what I do is I do a cheating version, which is basically think of a C major cowboy chord, but lift off the middle finger off of the fourth string and just blot out the fourth string. Okay, so that would give us this. Again, strumming only as far as the second string to catch our C melody note on the second string. So if I back up just a bit, C minor, A flat triad over C, C note. Here's our C chord. And play that C on the second string again. G to F on the first string. Now we've got a plain C minor seven. Now we have a little walk down that I threw in. It's going to be third string, fourth string, and sixth, blot out the fifth string. And then land on this F major seven. Okay. So we'll jump back again. Then up, bar at the fifth, first three strings. Now we've got this chord, which is basically, it's like an F6. Uh, on the transcription, I have it as a B flat over F, which is the same thing. Um, so you're gonna play as far as the second string, which gives you this melody note. Okay, let me back up one more time. Try it one more, one more time. Then we play this C on the uh, third string, fifth fret. Now bar the first five strings, put the pinky on the first string. Now we're going to do an E flat nine. Add the eighth fret again. Bar the first five strings for an A minor over D. Now we've got this. This is first string, third string, and then fifth string is the bass note, and you're going to bar the fourth fret, and you've got your D7 flat nine. Okay, we're building, building, building gradually. So here we go. walk down to G minor, seven. Now we've got G minor 11 up here. Now we've got a B half diminished. Blot out to fifth. Come and play this G. Play B flat minor seven. Play the open E, first string. 
play A minor 7, G, E, A flat minor 7, to D flat 9, G on the 6th string, then add this G minor 11. Little Hendrix chord here, C7 sharp 9. Now we've got this. So it's a C7 flat 5. Okay, let's recap that again. This is the first chunk of Good Morning Heartache, C minor. A flat over C. This is C minor 6, supposedly. C minor 7. Walk down. F major 7. B flat over F. Play the third string C. B flat minor 7 over E flat. E flat 9. A minor 7 over D. D7 flat 9. Walk down to G minor. G minor 11. B flat minor 7. C7 sharp 9, C7 flat 5, play the E flat on the second string, and then back home to F major 7. When we're going to turn around and go back and play it again, that A section, we're just going to throw in this D flat major 7, playing the inside four strings. Okay, so now we're back to do the second A section. Here's the second ending that's going to lead us into the middle. G minor 11, C7 sharp 9 again, C7 flat 5 again, open E. Now we're going to bar all the way across the six strings and we're going to have a B flat major 7. So what it is, is I've got the bar all the way across, I've got pinky on this D second string, middle finger A third string, ring finger F on the fourth string. And I'm just going to pick the 6th string and then pick the first 4. You don't want to play the 5th. So pick the 6th string and the first 4. Take the pinky off, change it to an F chord. Now we've got a little walk down heading to the middle part of the song. B flat major 7, A minor 7, G minor 7, F major 7, and here we are for the middle part. Open E, and then this E minor 7. So what it is, I'm borrowing the first four strings at the fifth fret, I've got the pinky on the third string, I've got the ring finger on the, on the uh, fifth string. Then we've got an A7 sharp 5, okay, open A, pinky's on the first, middle finger's borrowing the second and third strings at the sixth fret, and you've got the index just playing the fourth string, fifth fret. Going to D minor 7. Now we're going to play this, which is open fourth string, open first string, and I've got the second fret for the third and second strings. Yeah. And then going to an F7 with my little melody being the second string at the fourth fret. We go back again to the E minor 7. Again, A7 sharp 5. This time, instead of D minor, we go to D major 7. Now we do a little walk down. This is just 2nd string, 3rd string, 5th string, okay? It's an F sharp minor 7. Just go down chromatically, and then we're going to be at a D minor 11. G7 sharp 9. 2nd string melody. C major 7. C major 6. Now we've got C sharp minor 7. It's actually a C sharp minor 11. 
F sharp nine. And then this is a C7 flat nine. And then everything moves down a fret, we do it again. C minor 11, F9, and then uh, B7 flat five. And then we've got our final A section leading into the end. as far as the second string to grab our D melody note on the second string. Now we've got the G minor 11 again that we played earlier. Now we've got B half diminished that we played earlier. Play the G on the second string eighth fret. Play the B flat minor seven. A minor seven. G note. Back to the E. A flat minor seven to D flat nine. G minor 11 again. Now a C13. First and fifth strings are dead. C13. C note here, third string, fifth fret. Now we've got, okay, first string, fifth fret, second string, fourth fret, third string, third fret. This is on the uh, F sharp on the sixth string. Again, I'm going to jump over the fifth string and not play it. And if we just go with a simple ending, that would be F major 7. I think what I did when I recorded it was um, I just came up here. I was only, I'm almost trying to do a country thing. So I'm covering the uh, first and second strings at the 13th fret. And then on the third string, since I have heavier strings on here and I can't bend it, I just hammered on from 12 to 14. So it would be like... Okay. So, good morning, heartache. One last time. back you would do the A section again just with a different ending when you get to that ending part with the G minor 11 C7 sharp 9 C7 flat 5 and then the open E and then we land on this B flat chord over F then we have our little walk down B flat major 7 A minor 7 G minor 7 F major 7 landing on E minor 7 A7 sharp 5 D minor, seven. Again, E minor, seven. A seven sharp five, landing on D major seven this time. Now we're gonna grab this little F sharp minor seven, and we're gonna land here, D minor 11. G seven sharp nine. Okay, so I got lost along the way here, but basically for the ending, you're starting the A section again. Um, okay, so the ending is going to be basically... Uh, Here we go. G minor 11, C13, C note, and then G flat 13, landing on F. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. Again, here's the uh, tab. 
We might come back and do the intro at a later time, but if I leave out the top line being the intro, this is the rest of the tab. Okay. Hopefully you can look at that and learn it or grab it or jot it down. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you again. Have a great day.